This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Squarespace questions or tasks on demand. Today we'll be looking at how to add a custom font to your code block on your Squarespace site. So here we have a code block. We've added this text, Inspiration Day. And we've also added some custom, well, a custom font type to it. So I'll show you how to get that done. So let's go over to our plain site. So we've not yet added our code block or our custom font. So let's do that now. So the first thing we're going to do is to link our custom font. To do that, we'll minimize here. We'll go to design, then custom CSS. And here we're going to add our coding. I'll just make the window a little smaller. So here we're going to add the code to link that custom font. And we're going to be adding today a font called Bebas New, which is this type font. So the first thing we're going to type is at font dash face. Looks like I've got that too small. And add our opening and closing curly braces. Between that first, we're going to type font dash family and then give it our font name, which is Davis New. Or it's actually N E U E. Then add our semicolon at the end. Then we'll add source, which is S R C colon URL. And I'm just going to add my brackets and my single quotes for now. I'll come back and fill that in later. And I'm going to also add the same thing here. Source colon local. Then our opening and closing brackets. Single quotes again. And we're going to again type the name of the font. Davis name here. And at the end of that, we're going to type comma space URL. Our brackets, our single quotes. And the end of that, we're going to just add format. Early braces again and our woof font. And I'm just going to copy this so you don't have to type it all over again. And actually, on the next line, we just need the part that says URL and format. But instead of the WOOF format, we're going to change this to open type. So first, we're going to upload the EO, EOT font type. So you're going to scroll down to manage custom files. Click Add Images or Fonts. And here we have our downloads and our Bebus New font folder. And actually, I'm going to just upload all the fonts that we need all at once. So it should, well, it won't, it will only let me upload one at a time. So let's do that. So starting with the EOT font. So we're just going to click Open. And once it's uploaded, you'll see it here. We're going to put the cursor right between these single quotes and again hit manage custom files and click our EOT font and that will paste the URL for the font we just uploaded right between those single quotes. So we're going to hit add images our fonts again and we're going to upload that with file type and just hit open. And then we're going to scroll down here to our WOOF format type. We're going to put the cursor right between those single quotes. Again, hit Manage Custom Files, and we're going to click on that, um, that WOOF file that we just uploaded. It's going to put the URL right there also. And repeat the same steps for open type. Manage Custom Files, add images or fonts. This is the open type font file. So I'm going to click on that. And we're going to just head right down to 
that URL and right between the single quotes, manage custom files and click on the font. And that is going to place the URL for the open type font right where we need it. So once your font is linked, you're going to save those changes. And next, we're going to look at adding that code block. So you're going to hover over the page where you want the code block to be added. And here on this banner, you're going to hit, it'll either say social or it can say anything else, but it'll say social or page content. You're going to hit uh, settings. No, actually, no, that's not correct. I'm going to make this go back out, make this a little larger. And we're going to hit edit. Edit is what we're looking for. And then we're going to hit the plus icon here. And we're going to search for code. And we're going to click on the code block. And right between there, we're going to now type the code that we want to show on the site, which is for the text, which is for inspiration day. And we're going to add our span tags. Then we're going to add some custom CSS to this so that is linked to the font that we just added. So we're going to type style equals and then add our quotes. It could be either single quotes or double quotes. It doesn't. Well, let's use double quotes here. I think that would be better. And then we're going to type font dash family colon. And then single quotes, and we're going to type that font, which is Davis New. And we're also going to add a backup font of Arial, just in case our user ends on a site that doesn't accept Davis New. It'll then default to our Arial. So at the end of that should be our semicolon. We're also going to change the font size to or am and we're also going to change the color we're going to set the color to blue so we're going to apply those changes and hit save here and as you can see the changes have all applied to our code block the color the font size and also the font family that we added Davis new and you might have um, some code where this doesn't work, and but it should once you add the font type to your custom CSS, there might be some um, like font family or some font type code that's overriding this and it doesn't apply the Bevis new. So what you're going to do, if that does happen and you don't see your changing font type, even though you've taken the steps exactly as I've done them, you're going to click edit over your code block and here for the font family right below these right before the semicolon you're going to type exclamation mark important and that will override any um, fonts that are affecting your code block and not allowing it to change so once you've done that click save then it'll just have the exact font that you are wanting it to have Was this helpful? Ask a Squarespace question now. AskQuesty.com.